What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. This is going to be an update to a video I posted on my basic social politics channel. I'll leave a link in the description box. Where I first spoke about Brittany Griner's detainment and why she was detained. And I'm going to talk about the excuses that are being put out here. I think people need to understand that Brittany Griner did this to herself. Okay, those countries have laws, just like we do. And if you break those laws, you're going to be held accountable. And there are people who want to blame America. They want to blame the WNBA. They want to blame male sports fans for not supporting the WNBA so that these women won't have to go over to foreign countries to make more money, which actually just shows you that those countries value female talent, basketball talent, maybe then people here. But that's not what you're going to see. We're going to see headlines of how her orientation and her gender is going to harm her, even though she's been going over there to Russia for years. But also, I want to update her current situation. This was re just released by TMZ. This is her mugshot, okay, over in Russia, the Russian state media. You know, the media that the Western countries have been trying to silence, even though they claim Russia is losing, but they keep trying to silence the Russian media. This is an, a picture of her mugshot of her situation. Now, what I want to know is this. Since everybody wants to blame everybody, how come... She's been detained for weeks, but we're just now now finding out about this. How come we haven't known about her detainment until now? Why is that? The family didn't speak on it. None of her friends spoke on it until recently. Why is that? Brittany Griner, did she not talk to anybody? Did she not uh, communicate with family and friends? Say, hey. You know, she's detained in Russia. Did people tell her people to be quiet? Those are the questions I have. She's been detained since February, but we're finding it out once Russia launched their operation. Now we find out about this. Now we find out about this. Why is that? Did people tell her people to be quiet? That That's what we have to understand, because I'm pretty sure that Brittany Griner had some type of legal representation that she had spoken to the family about her situation because she was on her way home. But now we find out about this. You know why? Because it's all a part of the political games from both sides, from Russia's side and from the, the state side. But I also want to tell a lot of you this. People are bringing up her orientation and they're talking about how because of her orientation, she's going to be treated poorly in Russia, even though we have no proof of that. We have no proof of that whatsoever, but that's the propaganda. Don't allow the propaganda to make you believe that this is anything more, anything different than anything more than her just breaking the law. Because again, she was the only one that was arrested. Nobody else was arrested except her. So this is probably something that she's been doing for months or years, excuse me, as far as bringing these substance to the country using these substances taking a substance out of the country this is something she's probably been doing for years but let's get into this article and let's look at the excuses seven-time WNBA all-star and two-time olympic gold medalist Brittany griner was arrested in moscow airport in february for possession of a vape cartridge filled with cannabis oil the six foot nine phoenix mercury uh, superstar now faces up to 10 years in a Russian prison for large-scale transportation of drugs. According to the New York Times, Griner has already been detained in the country for three weeks, according to fellow NBA player, uh, to a, a fellow WNBA player. Uh, given the escalating tension between the United States and Putin's regime, could spend an extended period of time in Russian custody. The horrifying situation has shaken the American sports landscape to its core. While ironically, the circumstances led to Griner's arrest could have been avoided entirely had the American market placed a higher value on her talent. The legendary Hooper was only in Russia to supplement her income. I want to know, well, how, well, how was that going to be done? 
if there was a market for WNBA players, they would be one. But there isn't. That's why they go to Russia. Even the women in America don't value the WNBA. Nobody really does. They, they have some support, but the league does a very poor job of marketing their players because you can't have a league without the players, especially the WNBA. You have to market stars. They don't do that. They don't do much marketing at all. Only time you see them marketing anything is if it's a social justice initiative or some type of female empowerment initiative. That's the only time you see them doing any type of real promoting. Instead of promoting Brittany Griner as one of your stars, what do you do? You don't. So she has to go to Russia or these other countries in order to supplement her income because she's not making that money over here because the league continue has done it continues to do a poor job of marketing the league to build a core fan base instead the people at the top are just comfortable collecting a check and complaining like many other women's basketball players Griner spends her WNBA offseason competing overseas since 2014 she suited up for the Russian powerhouse UMMC alongside a rotating group of fellow WNBA superstars including Brianna Stewart Jaquel Jones, Allie Quigley, Courtney Vandersloot, and Emily Massessman. I believe that's how you say it. <laughs> Leah's how you say those days, man. All of these players command significantly higher salaries abroad than they can possibly earn in the States. This year, Griner is set to take home a league maximum 227,000 annual base salary from the Mercury with a potential to earn up to 500,000 between bonuses and market opportunities should she stay in America for the winter. But in only recent years has her pay payday climbed into a six figure range with dub with U M M C. Uh, she reportedly earns $1 million per season according to the Arizona Republic, Jeff Metcalf. So that's an incentive for her to go over there. She's making a million dollars a year for maybe, what, a couple of months? So why bring the substances with you? If that's what happened, could have gotten it there. We don't know. But why be trying to bring these substances or have these substances on you when you're abroad in these countries, you can't get comfortable. Cause you know that these countries have their own laws and they, you know, they're going to crack down on you, especially if you're a foreigner, an American foreigner at that, a foreigner at that. Cause we, we're not very liked contrary to what you may think and what the Biden administration or anybody else would make you believe we are not liked by a lot of countries. We're not. So if we're breaking the law, they're going to be tougher on us than probably anybody else. They really are. Under the ordinary circumstances, the, this two, uh, this two season per uh, year lifestyle is far from ideal without proper time to rest and rehabilitate their bodies. Athletes like Griner often find themselves dealing with nagging injuries in addition to accelerated wear and tear that can cut their professional career short. But during moments of internal crisis, like the early days of the pandemic or right now, as Russia wages their operation in Ukraine, WNBA players taking on second jobs overseas becomes all more perilous thanks to the rapidly deteriorating relationship between her home country and her off-season abode. Griner may be a pawn in a fiery feud between two global, global uh, superpowers. That might be what it is. Now let's look at this updated uh, this updated article from uh, TMZ. It says Brittany Griner's alleged uh, mugshot was shared on Russian state media, marking the first time the WNBA star has been publicly. The 31-year-old center from the Phoenix Mercury was taken into custody last month at the airport near Moscow after Russian custom officials claim a drug dog alerted to her carry-on luggage, which allegedly contained sheesh oil for a vape russian officials say they've launched a drug trafficking investigation and if convicted griner could face a decade behind bars in russia russia state-owned news channel russia 24 aired a photo of griner's mugshot state media report the booking photo has been taken at a russian police station according to cnn 
The mugshot is significant because Griner has not been seen or heard from publicly in weeks. The rest couldn't come at a worse time for the WNBA superstar Russia in the midst of a full-out assault on Ukraine and the United States and many other countries have sanctioned the Russian government, seriously ratcheting up tensions. Now the Russian government has a high-profile American prisoner and come upon a bargaining chip. Uh, and what makes it even crazier is the fact that, you know, you have her wife and others, especially her fans coming out in the media and they're supporting, but they're also pointing the finger. When it comes to the WNBA and whether or not they can pay these women, they can't because they're not making any money. They're supplemented already by the WNBA, but by, by, excuse me, by the NBA. The NBA already supplements the WNBA. So unless some billionaires are going to come in and invest into the league, set a high salary cap, and are able to pay them even though they're not going to get a return on their investment unless the league starts marketing their players properly then i don't see how it's going to work and why they're going to have to continue to go overseas but the situation with russia if that situation isn't resolved and those sanctions aren't removed from russia how are these women going to make money because the wnba just find a team 500,000 for flying their players on, on, on flying their players themselves on road games so if you're finding your own teams 500,000 you don't really care about the progression of the league you just want the league to stay right where it's at and you don't want the owners to step in and do anything so how can these women get a chance to make more money here in America if the people running the league don't care about their well-being at all, don't care about them getting the game, getting on, getting to games properly to where a team has to charter a flight for their team because they can't get to these games on time because they because of the type of flights they're taking it. They know it's very disorganized. They have to go to Russia to make that money. And because of the sanctions and because of the tensions, they can't, they're not going to really be able to go over there like that. And it's crazy because people think that Russia struggling financially, they're able to pay these women a million dollars a year. We can't do that here in America. And we have all the technology and the money in the world, right? But we can't even afford to pay these women to where they have to go over there to a foreign country. If the failure is in anybody, let me tell you this. And when I look at this situation in its entirety, it all begins with what, what happened with, with Brittany, uh, Brittany Renner, Brittany Griner, calling her Brittany Renner, Brittany Griner, and her having that substance on her while she's trying to leave the country. And also, you got to look at the fact that there's just no market for these women. So you can't really blame it. You know, we can't really blame the WNBA when there's really no market. They're not making money. The WNBA is not making any money. They're basically a tax write-off for the NBA because they're supplementing it. They're not making no money. They're not going to continue to make any money because no one cares about the league. So I think that we're where we're at. This situation with Brittany Griner is due to the actions of Brittany Griner. So let me think in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you all next one.